working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig until I feed my folks. Let's get free. I'm going to tell you a story, Mr. Harris. Day after day, you sit at your desk the way you have for over 20 years. Retirement didn't come at 65 the way you thought it would. You look around and you see a world you don't even recognize anymore. But when you walk into your house, the fridge and freezer are fully stocked. Your wife is humming quietly to herself that old tune from when you first met. Maybe it's because she didn't have to go food shopping, didn't have to deal with those crowded aisles or long lines or worse, those self-checkout machines. You and your wife stop and look at each other. I mean, really look at each other for the first time in years. You breathe in deeply and you're greeted by this unmistakable scent of pork chops cooking. And is that rosemary potatoes I smell? You know what? I think it is. Before you know it, you and your wife are embracing, and it's been a while if you're being honest, but those smells and that warmth help bridge the physical divide that's grown unspoken between you, month after month, year after year, not through any fault of your own, but from the undeniable force of time. And you realize in that moment that you haven't felt at home in a long time. But you do now. And it's because you and I spoke, Daryl. And you made the decision to provide for your household in a way you didn't still think you could. So, uh, should I transfer your call to my sales associate to finalize your order? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What the heck is a blue apron? Teach me everything. What are you doing here? That was incredible. That, that was art. The way you talked I didn't to... make the sale. Who cares? It was magical. There's so much I could learn from you. Well, that's certainly true. So, so teach me, please. Absolutely not. Why not? Well, how about because I take this seriously? Because I see you kids in here gossiping and wasting time. You treat this job as a pothole on the road to success, never for a moment considering that you could put in the hard work to thrive in this environment. Sorry, dear, this is my career. You want to have one? The line starts all the way back there. I was just thinking that, I don't know, maybe you could... You were just thinking you'd cut the line. Why wouldn't you think that? You're of the generation that invented back cuts. Back cuts. The gall and entitlement inherent in such a thing. You guys didn't have back cuts? In my day, you only got back cuts if the person behind you had a switchblade. Whoa. That was a really cool thing to say. I have calls to make. Please, I want to be good at this. I I'm willing to work hard. Well, then you don't need me. Work hard, and eventually you will be good at this. Huh. Okay. Fine. It's kind of like you just gave me my first lesson. Leave. Yes, Sensei. Good morning, my petite déjeuner. <laughs> and hey there, Carrie. Hey there yourself. That was I, um... How's it going? Really good. Yeah, really good? Yeah. So, uh, what were you two chatting about, huh? Oh, um, I was just telling Maggie how it's a full moon, so, um... Things could get pretty wild. Wild, huh? Wild. All right, all right, all right. Daniel? <clears throat> Denise, hey! We, we were just... What did I say about your McConaughey impression? <clears throat> that it's creepy and inappropriate. And a dog whistle for male chauvinism. But mainly, you're just not very good at it. Get back to work. Got it. Maggie. I just want to stop by and let you know I'll be listening in on some of your calls today. I don't want you to get worried about it. As you know, I do this with everyone from time to time, and now is just your time. Cool? C cool? Cool. Yeah. 
Okay, so much for it being a good day. No, now I'm all nervous. No, 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 no. The moon just has a plan for us, and we are along for the ride. Don't worry. You'll be fine. <laughs> you trying to... <clears throat> you trying to... <sighs> uh, hello? Actually, Lorraine, wait. Sorry, I just... Do you have a minute? Fewer and fewer. Well, it's just I... I'm performing at an open mic tonight, and I thought maybe you could listen and let me know if my lyrics are any good. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, that's perfect. Everyone will just smile and lie to me, but you're like notoriously cold and brutally honest, so I know I can trust you. Notoriously cold. Sorry, that came out wrong. Just, uh, you know, you, you keep to yourself. Just because I focus on my work doesn't mean I'm cold. I actually consider myself to be quite warm and humorous. I'm sure once people get to know you, What's this performance of yours? So it's silly, really, but I, I write these little raps in my spare time and decided now is the time to give it a try in front of a real audience. You rap? Uh-huh. I call myself MC Esther because I use a lot of wordplay and people are like, wah, that staircase leads to that staircase. <laughs> that reminds me of the artist, MC Escher. Yeah, that, that's, that's him. That's who I was So should I, uh, what do you call it, a beatbox? Oh my god, that would be amazing. That was a joke. Oh, <laughs> well, Lorraine, that's really funny. Yes, well, let's hear your rap. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome, okay, here we go. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Today is a gift, that's why they call it the present. But my mind is like a lift less than five stars will upset it. Don't need no uber bros calling us bitches and hoes. The only bitches that I've met have got XY chromosomes. You trying to pick me up when I'm dancing with my girls? You trying to chat me up talking about diamonds and pearls? You trying to make me feel bad about the hair on my arms? And then you trying to take me home when you still live with your moms. This goddamn moon. What's up? The moon. It's full and it's fucking with my life. You believe in that? It doesn't matter what I believe. It's science. Well... This morning, swear to God, put a hazelnut cake up in the machine, get my drink, it's caramel swirl. And you think the moon did that? Hello? Benji? Uh, I, I'm not positive. It looks like Esther is rapping. What? That's not even the craziest part. Lorraine seems to be watching. What? I ain't no one night stand unless I want to be a one night stand and you can't be my man from Drizzy Show fake orange tan. If you're a sensitive dude, then you can hang with my crew. But if your signature move is being douchey and rude, I can't take that attitude. So bye bye this is it. Because today is the present and bitches life is a gift. So what'd you think? That's stupid, right? That was marvelous. Just wonderful. I didn't understand everything you said. But the way you stuck it to those creeps, it was very empowering. I didn't know rap music could be empowering for women. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? They're hugging. <laughs> oh, you're so warm. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay. It's the moon, man. It's the fucking moon. Hi, Mr. Shrum. Oh, well, uh, hello, sweetheart. You can call me Dave. Okay. Um, how about we split the difference and I call you David? All right, David. So the reason I'm calling you today is to tell you about our great deals on prime meats. Uh, you want to talk about my meat? Uh, meat that can be yours. That is correct. Let me ask you a question. Obviously, if I like meat, I've already... Uh, see, that's where our patented fresh frozen formula comes in. So, my question for you is, can you beat my meat? Our products have higher flavor and freshness at lower prices, yes. Oh, come on. Answer the question. Can you beat my meat? I... Oh, uh, babe, don't you want to make a sale? Uh... I... I'm sorry. Are you watching The Price is Right? Uh, yeah. So? 
Are you sexually harassing me while watching America's favorite game show? Whoa, hold on. Sexually harassing? No. Nah, -uh, you are not gonna ruin the prices right for me. I grew up with that show. When I was homesick from school, I would watch it and my mom would sit on the edge of my bed stroking my hair. Ooh, you like. Oh, shut the fuck up, Dave! You know what, Dave? I wouldn't sell you our meat for all the money in the world. And guess what? It's fucking delicious. And it's exceedingly low priced for its quality. And, and um, it comes with vegetables, which are great and healthy and taste great with the recipes in our free recipe guide, but not for you, Dave. No, you know what you get, Dave? Scurvy. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, you can you can beat your own meat to Drew Carey while some excited college student plays Plinko and 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 you can suffer the whole time from swollen gums and um pirate fatigue, Dave. Jeez, lady. Is it really that good? Darn right it is. <sighs> Look, I, I'm really sorry. That was rude of me, and uh, I'm just really lonely, and, and you sounded nice, and... That's no excuse. And also, that's not how you treat someone when they're nice. No, I know, I know. You're, you're right. You clearly have trouble connecting with women. I do. I, my therapist said the same thing. Well, I... I mean, it's good that you're getting help, but that still doesn't mean that you... Uh, look, look, I know it doesn't. Uh, I'm really sorry, and uh, you don't have to accept my apology, but, uh... Do you think I can buy some of that meat and those veggies you were talking about? Do they really come with a free recipe guide? I'll transfer you to my sales associate to take down your information. Oh, thanks. See, I knew that. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I think I actually have the perfect person. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig But I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig But I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig Until I feed my folks